How's it going guys? Today in this random video I wanted to talk about one of the many aspects of our relationship that we have together. And this one is one that I haven't been able to understand for quite some time. What I'm talking about is when someone will watch a video by someone and they seem to very much disagree with how things are going in that video or series or channel or what have you. Now, to give an example, I've gotten some pretty strange advice over the past couple of years on how to improve myself for certain individuals, and one of those pieces of advice would be uh, something along the lines of, you know, man, I really like your content and all, but you just you just talk, and I don't I don't like talking. So, you know, if you could just stop talking, I would love watching your videos. Just just the gameplay, like no talking, and uh, that'd be great. Thanks, man. I'll I'll talk to you later. Unfortunately, the channel is based on commentary, and it is my own opinion that, you know, commentary kind of makes the video more entertaining. Now, in the way of a complete, like, solid walkthrough, uh, a secret shown, something like that, uh, showcasing a player's skill, I can see there not being any real commentary over that. But for a full-blown-out playthrough of something, I, I would just get bored of watching video after video of just gameplay because you can't really associate with the person you can't really laugh you can't really cry you can't really be happy with the person there's really no emotion there's no personality to attach to but that's just my opinion but that is not what I'm here talking about that was merely an example what I'm talking about is when someone seems to be watching a video and they don't like what's going on to the point where they get very very upset uh, and leave messages or comments or tweets or what have you on how things should be better done. And I've watched a lot of videos in my day, and I've seen this on pretty much everyone's videos. You, you'll you have these, the people, the viewers, whatever you want to call them, show up and they'll be a big fan of the person, but just sometimes how they play a game won't really appeal to them. And more recently than not, uh, in Dishonored, uh, I've seen a couple of these comments. Now, I'm going to disclose to you a very well-kept secret of the channel. When I play games that have a stealth-based sort of thing to it, like you can, like in Deus Ex, there is there is the combat approach, there is the stealth approach, there was a mixed approach. This is this is the best kept secret I've had, even even better than my name. I don't do stealth. If you look at the channel, you will find no old Splinter Cell games. You will find no Metal Gear Solid games. You'll find nothing of that sort. What I do do is do do. I, what I do do is I play games that have a mix, which pretty much lets you choose, like Splinter Cell Conviction. You can choose to go balls to the wall and do whatever you want. In Deus Ex, you can choose to go combat. In Dishonored, you can choose to go combat. And there have been a couple other games that I've done that allows you to choose this option or, you know, pick your path, sort of. And when we were at, I think it was PAX Prime, Dan and I had got to speak to some of the developers of the new Splinter Cell that's coming out, and they had talked about uh, a very in-depth process of designing each level around three different types of playstyle. I believe one was a tank, which basically just goes through the level and just kills everything they want. One was a ghost, which tries to get through the level as stealthily as possible, alert no one, kill no one. And I can't remember what the third one was, but it was like a mix of two. Like someone who will who will try to stick to the shadows, but they'll kill people uh, if they have to. And I, I can't for the life of me remember what that was. But I remember Tank because Tank is me, and I remember Ghost because uh, it's pretty much the exact opposite of me. But in Dishonored, I am playing the game basically trying to kill one guy stealthily, knowing that I'll probably alert everyone in the fucking world, and then taking out everyone that comes my way. Because I find that fun. Um, of course, I've died a couple of times, but I'm sure I'm not the only person to die. I'm sure anyone going the ghost route has alerted someone before, has been killed before. But, unfortunately, some people who go the ghost route watch my videos, which I am the tank, uh, if we're using both of the terms. And I just go balls to the wall and do whatever. I find it fun to get into overwhelming fights, getting my ass beat, using three health potions or whatever, they're, I can't remember what they're called in the game, but basically a health potion, and then winning and moving on. Unfortunately, I don't know why some people get upset over that. And maybe you can fill me in, which is what this video is basically about. Not being able to understand why some people get so upset over someone playing balls to the wall, because when I watch videos on YouTube, if I'm watching someone do game stuff, 
I don't want to watch someone who's the same as me. Which is why I kind of don't understand why people who would go the complete stealth route get mad at me because... I guess it's just my opinion that I like to see people who are different than me. I'd rather see someone play the ghost route. I'd rather watch someone go through an entire level, not get detected at all, and go, Wow, that was really cool. Okay. I kill everyone, they bypass everyone. It's... I don't know. It's interesting to me to see someone play differently than how I would. If I do find someone who plays the same as me, the only thing I'll really do is go, Okay, well they did that slightly different than me. That's great. Um, I don't want to watch every video, because it's, it's like basically watching myself, and I don't want to watch another me. I want to watch someone who's different, but unfortunately, some people don't uh, have that same opinion, which is fine. You know, differing opinions are, are good to have in the world, at least some of them. Um, but I just I just don't understand why people get so upset to the point where they get super duper mad in the comments and whatnot. So maybe you can fill me in. I don't know how big of a group this is, but it seems like they're the most vocal. Like, they always taught me when I work at Target, try to get the the customers who you know had a good experience at the store to do the store surveys, because someone who's had a good experience with the store is not going to do a survey on their own without being asked, as much as someone who had a bad experience, because it is well known that people like to complain. I like to complain, I'm sure most of you like to complain, but someone who's had a shitty time is much more likely to voice their opinion than someone who's had a good time. So, I don't know whether it's just overwhelmingly, man, you suck at Dishonored, you should just go the stealth route, we don't want to see this. Or if it's, you know, just the the small crowd being vocal or whatnot. I don't think I've really sucked at the game. Like, sure, I've died my decent share of times. I don't know how many times I've died throughout the course of the game. Probably about half a dozen, because I, I just beat it before this video. But it seems like any time... There's a game that allows you to uh, to take choices and whatnot. Someone, some group is always going to get pretty upset. And pretty much any game nowadays, even linear games, you can make choices. Like, uh, let's say, Binary Domain. I'm playing bina Binary Domain, and I might be a little bit more gung-ho than the regular person. Someone might stay back a little bit, take their shots a little bit better. I just run in. Like, I don't, I don't care. If I die, I die. Like... There's no real-world repercussions of that. It's just how I have fun. And unfortunately, some people don't like how I have fun, which sucks because I try to be open to whatever. I try to say, you know, whatever floats your boat, as long as you're not hurting yourself or other people, then go for it. If that's what makes you happy, then fine. By all means, do it. But unfortunately, some people do not have that opinion. So let me know what you think. I'm done with this mini-discussion video. It wasn't so much a rant. It's not so much as I'm mad, because I've been running into this for, you know, all four years that I've been doing this, pretty much, where people have differing opinions on how I should play, and even with Mario, you know, people, some people say, you know, oh, just don't play with save states, you know, go a little bit slower, I like to just blow through levels, I use save states, like, I don't want to be sitting around all day playing a Mario hack as much as I like them, if I was playing a, a real, like, legitimate retail released version of whatever Mario game, I wouldn't be using save states, I wouldn't be trying to, well, I might be trying to blow through it a little bit, but that's just how I play. And I like to be open to how people play in video games or others. So, that'll pretty much wrap it up. I'm done with my long-winded spiel. I will talk to you guys later, and hopefully you've enjoyed watching me bumble through games.